Whichever path is for mature audiences. Depictions of violence, adult themes, and foul language are all over these stories. Listener discretion is advised. What have you brought me? It's uh, um, an offer for the land, Uncle Nick. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's a nice family in New Hampshire. They're, they're looking to expand their farming up here. We are not interested. They're offering close to two million, Uncle Nick. And the lady who's offering the money, she's offering to help us move to wherever we... Where did you meet this woman? When you made your trip? Or did they come to you? Uncle Nick, I... The offer was under my wiper, but... Yes. Yeah, yes, I, I met her on my trip. She, she and her family came up a few days back and they wanted to see the property. <laughs> she worked at Mobe, are you? <laughs> Aunt Juliet tells me your dreams, Alphonse. You think we don't know your heart? That you could go unburden your heart and then come back to sell our land? Are you so foolish? Uncle, the world isn't the same. And you and the others, you're going to be found if if we stay here. I have settled here. I will die here. Tear the paper up. You voted. You made your decision. And Vanessa is ready to tell Kay everything. The die is cast. Whichever path begins now. As your lawyer, I want to be clear. Your brother contacting you at this point is a minefield. From what I can tell you, you're not under arrest yet, but it's likely coming if we're not careful. Chief Parker believes that your brother is the killer. If that's the case, it makes sense to contact the chief and let them know Al has reached out to you. He is going to die if we let the cops get him. And it'll be for no reason. He didn't kill Chip. How do you know? It was one of my uncles. Or my aunts. Maybe a couple of them. They did it. They've done all of it. Kay, that's a deputy's car. Should we stop here? (sighs) Let's find out why they're here. Good morning. It's 2.45 a.m. Are you here for us? The Sheriff's Department sent me to provide a protective detail to your clients tonight. There are credible threats to Mr. and Mrs. Reed that were called in. I'll monitor the situation from outside. Why has Chief Parker not sent someone from the local station? The police chief and two other part-time officers make up the entirety of the threading main force. Given the fact that Mr. Martinow's widow worked as the receptionist and dispatch for the town, the sheriff believes it's best for us to look after your client's safety to avoid any conflicts of interest. Thank you for the clarification. We're going to go inside and confer. As you're a county officer, would you be able to escort us to another place to stay if their safety is in question? I can, but I will call it in. Do you have a card? Here you go. Thank you. Vanessa, I am not ignoring what you just told me, but let's get inside. I have a feeling you have a lot to tell me. All right, but take your shoes off before you come into our room. What the hell? Uh, Hey, this is uh, Carl McDonald over at the uh, Pick and Save. There's a group of masked guys by the pumps. Uh, one of them is holding a rifle. They're currently filling up, but I need... Oh, shit. They're coming in. Please hurry. Carl, keep it easy. Stay, stay calm, Carl. 
Remove your masks or leave, please. Scared, Carl? I know that's you, Betty. Halloween ain't until October. Take off the mask or go. The cops are already on their way. Billy isn't going to get here in time. I'm going to need you to turn on the pumps, Carl. All of them. We got a lot of cans to fill. Get out. Guys, go switch on the pumps. Get the fuck out of here. You think we don't remember seeing you shooting pool with your old boyfriend all those years back? <laughs> I got the pumps on. You can't, you can't do this, Betty. I know your cameras don't have audio, Carl. Also, your boss, Jason, he's the one out there in the red hood. Why don't you come on out and talk to him? Boys, want to help Carl here? You don't need to do that, fellas. I'll walk out peacefully. That's smart. Let's go, Carl. You know, your masks are slipping, guys. Camera's gonna get you. What? Oh, shit! Gun! (laughs) Good shot, Betty. I thought he was gonna kill us all. You had to do this, didn't you, Carl? Get him in the truck. Oh, shit. What about TJ? Leave him. We can blame it on the Millers. Okay. Your uncles and aunts are Jamaican vampires? Oh, duppies. Jumbies, they prefer. Duppies a slur down there to them. I don't expect you to believe me, Kay. But if we're going to get out of this, you'll have to. Kieran, have you seen anything that leads you to believe this is real? This is beyond the world of app development and investing, Kay. But I believe my wife. What do we do about it? (sighs) Okay, well, here's my plan. You're going to meet with your brother, Vanessa, but we are not going alone. You're going to convince him to turn himself in, but to the sheriff's department and only outside the town limits. From there, I'm going to need any and all evidence from... from A what? You're supposed to be on our side. Disperse from the sea. Yeah, come on, man. Blue lives matter. Let us in there, Pete. You're not protecting anything worth saving. Yeah, come on, Pete. Betty, all of you disperse. Four officers are already on their way. You know that isn't true, Pete. We got an hour before more arrive. Just let us have them. That's right. All of you drop your weapons, or I will open fire. Excuse me. This is a neighborhood. You won't mind keeping it down. Somebody shoot that nigga! Uh, my coat! What, you got a vest on? You shot my coat. That fox fur survived through so much. Ninety years! You're all going to die. Stop me if you've heard this one, folks. You better run. Shit, they're shooting out there. Uh, no signal? Are you serious? Nessa, help me push this dresser in front of the door. Then we'll move the bed against that. Kay, does the window open? Kay! Uh, uh, uh let me check. Uh, it does! What are we going to do? We make a break for it. Your car's parked out back. We get into that, we drive out of town. I can't. Take my keys. Kay, you gotta come with us now. No, get out of here. I'll brace the barricade. If they think we're all in here, it might buy you time. Open up. No, you, you can't do this. Karen, go. We'll all make it. We'll all see this through. Go! Keep low and keep to the shadows until we get to the car. 
Who are they shooting at? The deputy? Uncle Alfred, I think. Get in, we have to go. Uh, Fuck this. Fuck this. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. Where do you want me to go? Shit, that's them. Go after them. Yeah, but I gotta get past those... things. Nut up and drive this dodge over them if you have to. Die like this. Come on, just let us in. Gentlemen, there's nothing for you in there. What? Let oh. me show you the way out. Oh, no, 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 please. No, 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 no. Vin. V Vanessa. It's all right now. I'm coming in. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Shoes? Really, darling? <sighs> Alfred! They hit me with a car, and I find you in here trying on... Shoes? <sighs> Vanessa! This is just rude. Please come out, even if just... <clears throat> to help us fit into these damn things. Who are you out there? I'm Alfred Miller, and I'm out here with my wife, Pauline. Mind letting us in? Nessa, I, I don't know where I'm going. Take a left and a block past the church. I hate to say this, baby, but we gotta go see Al. Y you know what? Yeah. Uh, okay, T tell me where. Left of the church, then all the way down until you see the trailer park. You're gonna take the dirt road to its right. We left K. We left her. I know, baby. But she'll be okay if she keeps the door closed. They can't get her. They'll get in there. There was, like, a hundred of them. <laughs> if they didn't run, they're already dead. This is it. That's the road. Take a right. I saw one of them in the rear view. It was in a bloody fur coat. Which one would that be? She must have been Aunt Pauline, and... <coughs> Karen, baby, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you alright? I got a nosebleed, but other than that... What hit us? That truck, it's... Oh, shit. Get out of the car! Get out! I, I think the car can still go. Hold on. Nessa, does this road go past the rope swing, or is it a dead end? It leads to the railroad tracks, about a mile out. All right, uh, shit. Uh, baby, uh, tuck and roll out. I'll keep driving. Do it now before they follow us. Baby, no! Get your brother. I'll lead Betty away. You're my heart. Okay. Here we go. Uh. 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 Sh shit. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Ow. Ow. Are you out here? doing out here, girl? Ben, ben, ben. By the river. By the river. Quickly. Quickly. 
Herb? Herb, you're dead. Just come this way. We'll see him. He's here. Vanessa. Thank God. Oh, you made it. Ow! What is happening? <sighs> Uncle Alfred and Pauline, they're too hungry. As ugly as the world got out there, I, I, I tried to hide it from them, but People Magazine, Star, some of the real news was in there. And the way people aren't even hiding things anymore. The hate, it's... It's like a scent of the hunt to them. And they're so hungry. We have to stop them. Our uncle and aunt were the only reason I wasn't just killed in the center of town. Betty King is chasing my husband down the roads where the tracks. There's a lynch mob out there right now, hunting for me and you. We need to run. <laughs> it's Karen. Are you safe? He will be, if you do what I ask. Don't hurt him, bitch! Listen up, Vinny. We got him and we got your ex, too. So if you want them to live, you and whoever else you got working with you are going to show yourselves. Otherwise, we're dragging us a pair of sodomites through town. Give me the phone. Betty, how's Chip? Al, you black son of a bitch! Oh, right, he's dead. You want us? All of us? Come out to our house. One hour. Oh, you don't get to dictate terms. I have hostages. I'll handle this. <sighs> All right, Betty. Here's what we'll do. What do you think Vanessa's plan will be? You can help decide that. Your choices are meet Betty at the Miller's, give yourself up to save Kieran, hang up, call the police. You can vote at whicheverpath.com slash vote. We will continue the poll until Thursday, December 19th. This is the fateful choice of the storyline, and it's been all leading to this. After the poll closes, we'll be hard at work for our next episode that will come out in the brand new year. Whoa. This episode featured the talents of Jazz LaFond as Vanessa, Nick Fry as Kieran, Isaiah Frizzell as Uncle Nick, Dietrich Marie Bowie as Aunt Pauline, Vin Vox as Uncle Alfred, David S. Deer as Alphonse Miller, Shannon Perry as Betty, Eric Perry as Carl, Tim Sherburn as Deputy Pete and a bunch of mean people, Dallas Wheatley as Kay Lazenby. This episode was written by Jazz and Stephen and edited by Stephen LaFont. The Whichever Path theme was written and composed by Ryder. If you like our show, please give us a review on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Podchaser, or wherever else you listen to us. In addition to spreading the word, did you know that there's a whole other road to walk? Our Patreon has exclusive content. By subscribing, you can get access to the Squirrel feed that contains new stories, epilogues, and alternate endings. For $10 a month, you'll get those stories, a shout-out on the podcast, and behind-the-scenes content. And then our BGV subscribers also get a free shirt of their choice. Check us out at patreon.com slash whichever path. We also want to thank our two newest Patreon subscribers, Adrian Dunkley and Kai Miller. We are so grateful for you coming in and seeing what's behind the curtain. So barring any vacations from the various voice actors and folks that we have that will record the next episode, we plan to see you on the first week of January. We love you, and we care about you. And before I go, Jazz has a message for you.
Hi friends, this is Jazz, your local neighborhood brown feminine and co-creator of Whichever Path. Just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about um, an event that is near and dear to my heart. It is called the Queer Babe Mixer. Uh, so you may be asking yourself what the Queer Babe Mixer is. Essentially, it is a speed dating event with a twist. It is speed dating that is inclusive, there's no pressure, and there's going to be lots of amazing folks there. So you may be asking yourself, well, why do I want to go to a speed dating event? Well, first off, as I said, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very queer. It's open to relationships, uh, orientations, and genders of all sorts. So people all over the rainbow are welcome. Single people, coupled people, poly people are also welcome. We're going to have lots of games. We're going to have prizes and raffles available. We have local sponsors. I'm talking about Equality Health Center. I'm talking about the Bank of New Hampshire sponsoring. I'm talking about an awesome, awesome gift shop called Who Doesn't Want That also sponsoring this event. There's going to be something for everybody. So I hope that you'll come and join us on January 22nd at True Brew Barista in Concord, New Hampshire. The address is 3 Bicentennial Square in Concord. Doors open at 7, we're closing at 9, and you can buy tickets at eventbrite.com slash e slash the Queer Babe Mixer tickets. Hope to see you there.